Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to the start of a playthrough, which is blind for me at the moment. If I run into issues, maybe it won't be. But for now, Sea of Stars. Ooh. Got some good tunes, good pixel art. I am excited. Let us start. First, we'll check all this stuff. Apparently, you can have vibration. Hmm. I'm doing uh, keyboard and mouse at the moment. I don't know if that will matter or not, but it looks like controllers can be a thing. Hmm. Audio. Hmm. Interesting. The dialogue loops, they have an option for that. Okay. Interesting. You can kind of hear it as I hover over each thing. That's a nice little effect. I like it. Brightness is fine for me. Pixel... What is pixel perfect? What? Hmm. Apparently my refresh rate is a little low. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Still not entirely certain what V-Sync is. Maybe I'm crazy. Looks like enter is the main button. Good to know. I guess they'll let me know more in the tutorial. Yeah, enter is the main button. Left control is cancel, eh? That one might be hard for me to remember, but uh, we'll try. We'll try. R Q E F A. Hmm. W space by F. Maybe I should be trying a controller, but uh, for now, we'll try a Sea of Stars keyboard version. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. So, Valer. A monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Or Zael. A blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Okay. I like the scythe! Or no, it's a Kopesh, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, we're going we're going Kopesh boy. Alright. Set sail with Zael. The Great Archive. Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. I am the Archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. Apparently bibliography. But perhaps you knew that already. Hmm, I guess maybe potion-treated bandages? Uh -huh. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. I like that little over-the-shoulder look back. So, walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism, one that... I believe, will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now, I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines, and all their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer, generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Okay. Is that a reference to, like, overworld mechanics, maybe? Hmm. Also multiple timelines. It, okay, so I know this is kind of influenced by Chrono Trigger a little bit, which was a good game. 
I was like, I don't know, 30 minutes away from beating Chrono Trigger, and then my iPad wouldn't allow me to play it anymore, but now it's working again, so maybe I will try that sometime on the channel. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. Back to the story. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the Academy. And sewing! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> uh, we don't understand wisdom yet. That's okay. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Okay, so this is what it means by going off on your own. Time for some scouting. Oh, I'm coming through. Oh yes, apparently you do meet people on the overworld to activate combat. You can try to dodge them and stuff. And I think there's some um, kind of, what is it, action commands like Paper Mario and Mario RPG? Vulnerable. Okay. Back. Okay, I tried to click enter. I see nothing. Wait, power 100%? What is this? Okay, I can't do skills yet. I am sad. Wanderer, take that. Brugaves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Or Brugaves? Let's see where this leads. Okay. Well, we're gonna see where that leads, I suppose. I'm gonna... I can't jump, can I? No, not yet. Aha! Okay, I have to get close enough to activate it. Hmm. Okay, I see you, bonfire thing. Is this going Dark Souls? Hmm. Hello, big thing. You seem upset. I assume you will jump as soon as I get over here. I am wrong. Hello. Huh. You are cool, though. Haha. Apparently you want to eat me. So yeah, I think we also gain back MP as we attack a Rocheville? Rocheville? I... I'm not good with French. <laughs> I, I think that's French, I don't know. That's like a rock ball. Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Skills. Sunball! A solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. Hold enter for power. Imagining. Huh, it seemed to, yeah, go down a little bit. So I think I overcharged it. Zale, found anything? This is a rope bridge thing? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over, I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Wait, what? Like tomato club sandwich thing? Okay, rope ladder. Dark Souls, you have top smudge. Okay. Hmm. Jump down this rope ladder. I think I saw another one up there. You do have to actually climb down it. I thought it just auto climb for me. But no, no. The ladder does not want me to be lazy. How dare it? Hmm. Bird, I see you. Okay, flowers, I see you as well. Hmm. Rocks. I can't see you. You're just. You don't exist. Nope. Definitely not. You don't look like wonderful Pixar from here. Nope, definitely not. Okay. Away we go. Up to the cave. A jumping we will go. Okay, I thought... Ooh. Hmm. I thought I'd actually be kind of... <laughs> Man, that's pretty good time to make you feel like, uh oh, you want to be careful. Even though it probably will do nothing to you. Yeah, I thought we'd climb by hand. So yeah, you can actually outrun the monsters. <laughs> But I want that. Okay. It is time. Sunballs, I think. Right there? I don't know. Hmm. I think once it grew three sizes, just like the Grinch, that's the best it can grow, but I probably need to pay more attention. Can I jump down here? Okay, that was dumb, but yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> It looked like he was looking down in a way where it's like, oh, of course you can jump down this and not break your ankles like any normal human being. Because Zale 
He is a man that does not pale at the thought of jumping down a great height, apparently. Okay, so yes, we want to jump over here. Hello, Bert. Wait. Okay, no, that's a palm tree. I was thinking, was that a dinosaur in the background? Why can't I jump this? Huh. Okay, yeah, it was just weird enough the box, I guess. Hello, Rochevra. Hello. Hello, Rice Lady. Hmm. Watch out. You can kind of hold that. Very good spacing on that. Jumping. Huh. But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids. Always daydreaming and getting in trouble. And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valir. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that we're still friends. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl. Hmm. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Where baby moons are born, I'm assuming? My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Oh, he's gonna take the book. Knowledge is the greatest power. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Ephraimist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and has been sleeping curl up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. It sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it, too. It's the bell, Arlena and Brugaves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Hmm. Okay, timeline of character ages. Can I save you? Behold! Salvation. Okay. Children of the Solstice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to get used to the left control. I keep wanting to click, like, backspace instead. Hmm. Can I... I can't do anything with this fire, even though I'm a child of the sun? Okay. Fine. Be that way. Alright, I can't do anything with that rock right there. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Hello, house. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Actually, now I'm playing with your anvil. Hopefully you don't mind. Okay, we will leave. Fireflies. No? Normal flies. Okay. Hmm. A lot of life in the background pixel art. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Okay. Very good. Okay, I can't get anything from the barrels, but you gotta check. You gotta check in RPGs. Wait, there's another house. I must learn who my neighbors are. Also, cool eye lantern things. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Well, what if I said we weren't? Would I be accurate? Hey, wait! Ooh, cutscene. So those must be the two heading for the academy. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again? We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa. 
Come closer, Sam. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valer? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Oh, good, they're not bullies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. Very good point. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. So it's this warriors. Headmaster Moraine. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Okay, I can't tell... I mean, we, we get that he's probably a serious guy based on their previous conversation in the present. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Dot, dot, dot. Let's go, Brew Graves. Brugales? Brugales. Man, it's gonna bug me. Let me know in the comments how you pronounce that name, dear viewer. Hey, the full moon is out. Now, a lot of people with moon-based staffs and stuff. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. And more rain will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? You know, uh, go with that thought. Nah, no way. Okay, well. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. Garl, why would you do this to us? Why? Okay, I already talked to you, never mind. Go this way. There's more stuff up the hill, I'm assuming. Hmm. This is a rather large map for a flashback. Which makes me think we will be back here again someday. Wait. Okay, good. We didn't wake him up. I know you wanted to catch Arlene and Brugans, but it's starting to be late. Bedtime soon, okay? Uh, we already said hi. And they seemed cool, which is nice. You don't always get cool characters to look up to. Not this early in an RPG. Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow is a gift of the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. America. Alright. Great Eagle from America, I guess. Confirmed? Maybe? <laughs> Probably not. There are more types of eagles than just bald eagles, that's for sure. Like fishing eagles. Hmm. Do I know any others off the top of my head? Uh, isn't there the Harpy Eagle? Is that the one that hunts down monkeys and is like the terror of the jungle kind of thing? Ooh, I climbed up here. Can I climb on this thing? I cannot. My tiny child hands cannot climb that. Oh, I'm sad. Okay, well, we can go up that way, or once again, double check this way. I just keep thinking we'll find some items, but. They probably wouldn't... Yeah, okay. He probably wouldn't have that in a flashback, right? How would that affect us in present time? Yeah. Okay. Well, blue, yellowish, orange, red, thing. Away we go. Moon and sun. Oh, we have Garl joining us in our loading screen. Ooh. Intriguing. Okay, so it... Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay, so you can kind of... Go free style exploring the overworld map. I was expecting it to be more like Mario, where you go from point to point. When I saw how it looked, but uh, clearly that is not the case. All right, man, I keep clicking backspace. <laughs> I might have to change that. I just have a feeling they'll make it a different button at some point. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. Good plan. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. A sandwich. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. 
<laughs> oh dear. Yeah. I have a feeling Garl instigates a lot of trouble here. Alright, how do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valir. Alright. Moon magic powers. Activate. Turn into Sailor Moon. Go. Good. You wouldn't want to copyright in French. I knew it! It worked? I did it. I finally did it! Isn't it forbidden? Okay. So, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go! Oh dear. Forbidden cavern. Oh my goodness. Templeton. I think it's how you say it in German. Um. This is a bad idea. But uh, we're small children with nothing better to do. So. Okay. Okay. This is why they invented Chuck E. Cheese's. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. Or, you know, leave. I thought Evermiss Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Oh, a smart choice. Yeah, good call. Okay, so they're not. Uh oh. Yeah. Watch out! There's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers. We're not ready for this. I I don't know. Just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out! It's preparing something! Come on, come on! Sail, watch out! Ah. No, Garl! My eye! It really hurts. I... I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. Thank goodness he survived that, because that looked a lot worse than just an eyeball. So it was you. As resourceful as you are, reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in the moon cradle, a regular kid. When Garl needs us to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Honestly, yeah, that, that seems like a fair response overall. And at least he healed the eye, so, you know, you know. Serious for reasons. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way! What? Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. You know, just ten years. <clears throat> yep. Oh dear. That's the thing about true friends, man. Time may pass, but you can still interact.
even if it's 10 years in between times. We will still find things to connect. Like slaying monsters, apparently. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Hmm. Oh. Magic. Yay. Magic elevator. This is going to be like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in the glass elevator. You know, glass would actually be kind of more comforting than having no safety risks at the moment. Just, just saying. Magic engineers, you could work on that. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before. And Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places, and a measure of protection against the minions of the Flesh Rancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing? And that will be all for today. Let's just say you reap what you sow, kids. <laughs> You'll be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Ah, uh, probably to help focus it during sleep time. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. Okay, I can move you. <laughs> So we can go check out the training room, which I have a feeling two traumatized kids probably wouldn't go here first, but you know what? You know what? We're, uh, we're gonna thank you for your service. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. Yeah, apparently he should have, uh, thought about it. A rack filled with wooden training weapons. Uh -huh. Useful. Oh, what else can we find? As only two children training can do. Okay, so rope ladders for climbing training, I'm guessing. Okay, okay. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you for cleaning. We appreciate it. All of our blood, sweat, and tears will uh, eventually make us way into your bucket, I guess. Ooh. But all right, then. What about over here? A nice little sofa. And you? I remember when our Lena and Brugobs were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Ugh, I feel old now. Well, thank you for your service. Keeping all the dust off the books and stuff. Though I am kind of surprised there'd be that much dust up here in the sky, but then again with the wind. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it'd blow more dust around? Another save point, you say? 
Well, why not? Over right. School in the sky. Left control instead of backspace. I keep forgetting because I don't use it often enough so far. There's no sprint button as far as I can tell. Hmm. So I could go here. I think this bed is for me. Let's find yours. Okay, because I'm the primary character. I see. My main character syndrome has activated. So here is... Oh, they have the sewing shuttles. That's a good attention to detail. I think that's what it's called, the shuttle. I think the shuttle is actually what you use to maneuver the strings around. I forget. I did like one thing of sewing in art class once upon a time. Made a little tapestry. Like a desert scene. So yeah, yeah, red for my bed. I guess... Oh, we have bunk beds too? Hmm. I'll take the bottom bunk. Uh, well, one more thing to check though. One more thing to check. A lot of environmental storytelling in this game so far. I like it. Hmm, anything? Aha! Sewing basics. <laughs> yeah, he's not too enthused. But dude, think of it this way. You're creating a custom set of armor for yourself. It's pretty, pretty cool. Magic armor. Alright, we'll go here because I don't want to walk anymore. Done walking. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brew Gaves. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. And that's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Training sword. Training staff. Looks like a sword staff. Hmm. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> you got this, Valir. Don't give up now. Never. <laughs> oh, dear. Then she starts sprinting. Oh, that's a good way to lose all your energy. Come on, Zale. Keep up. I, I can do this. That's right. You can! Mm. Alright, push-ups and sit-ups. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. Whew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Arlena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm guessing that's the main elevator area, right? Oh, it's already nighttime again. What a montage that was. Okay, is this the terrace, maybe? Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? You bet I am. It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. Huh. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. An itch in the air. Hmm. Like the feeling of electrons or something? Hmm. Try to le release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One. Two. Three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life, and... Erlina! Ah. Uh. I see there is trouble in paradise. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I will provide the briefing for your next assignment. To be fair, it seems like we are like the only thing standing in the way of monsters overtaking the world, so... Yeah, I kind of get where the headmaster is coming from. Kind of get that Erlina doesn't want to keep doing things that she is told to do. As for the two of you, it is about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Okay, then. Yes. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. 
At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Hmm. I feel like you should just make a big robe, right? Well, I'm bored. I feel like a simple robe would be the easiest thing to do, and it'd cover the most of your body, right? I don't know. Okay, Zale's probably gonna get in trouble now. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Well, I guess we go save once more, just in case. All right, school in the sky time. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? I know we already read this, but is there something different with that crystal or anything? No. Nothing. Uh, I guess I could go look at Valir's stuff. I could go take a nap. No, I cannot take a nap. I am too filled with energy. What are you doing? I'll just walk around a bit. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I guess we should go walk outside. Hmm. We okay? I feel exploratory. You keep saying that, but the Flesh Mancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zael and Valir were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Rugaves, do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brugues. Hmm. And so they trained, and they sewed for days, and then for months. Faster now. So I imagine there's a timeline where they didn't train or where the others got mad and left and it turned out to be a worse timeline. <laughs> Focus and then release. Like a falcon bunch. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of Solstice Warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a World Eater, cleansings always target the strongest Dweller known to us. Headmaster, if Dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, uh, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the Dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many Dwellers are left? Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe. But we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Zell? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? Moyara? Did I say that right? That will be all for today. I weren't dropping no eaves, sir. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Zael, wake up! Valir, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. Okay. From the entrance, you say? Also note, uh, arrow keys and WASD seem to work. Hmm. Okay. What lies before us? Probably a dweller of woe. Oh no. Hey, look! Okay, never mind. It's like a bowl or something. Oh, smells good. There's a note. 
Deersdale and Valir. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moiraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I'll try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try and visit again. I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Garl. Garl's the best. It is true. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. The only problem with Garl is that he is way too ambitious. Got cookie jar. As a child, anyway. Hopefully his ambition has been tempered a bit. We will see. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiles away the next day. <laughs> You're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. And so they trained, and they sewed for years. And then they trained, and they sewed some more. Until one day. Is he wearing weights? Are they both? I think they're both wearing weights. Hmm. Interesting detail. Or that's their armor. Moon cradle. Sail, that's the one! I can feel it too. Hold on. All right. I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Okay, so it's more like a sash. That's interesting. It took him that long to... Wow. So it, it seems to have a lot less to do with actual fabricness or design than with pushing the magic in or something. Hmm. Well, okay, but headmaster, we look stylish. Let's all get out. I think we're ready. Okay, he's using his as like a sash and she's using hers as a scarf, I think. And Master, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. <laughs> it will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Aha. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina and Brugaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. Okay. You want to review combat basics? Sure. Like, is this action command stuff? Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. D-A to cycle through available characters. Hmm. You can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. And then on cooldown, they reset. That makes sense. Attack. I think I did activate an action command. Yeah, I didn't try to there. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal, and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Yeah, okay. As the hit connects to increased damage. No, that time I missed. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Okay. There we go. Good. Let's see that one more time. There we go. Ouch. Yep, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of time hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Yep, as the hit connects to reduce damage. Oh. Oops. He faked me out! 
That was too food. Ah, too soon. Dang it. Yep. It's when. It's when the cone hits you. Now. Okay. So we. It took three less damage that way, so we get rid of maybe thirty percent. Hmm. Good. Let's see that one more time. No. Oh. That was too soon. Okay. There we go. And we build up a combo. Interesting. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you have to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. I thought I blocked it. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. Okay. Oh! They'll get back up, up on their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. So it's a three-round timer. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Ooh, I like that. So it's only two turns. Okay. There's our attack. He's going to attack too. Dang it. I always want to hit it when he lands in front of me. Kind of like when you flash white. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. As long as it's not defensive actions. <laughs> okay. Erlina. I'm betting she's basics of magic. Yep. All right. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage with the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valir can do blood damage, and Zayla has slicing. Let's see you break this one. Huh. So slice, slice, blunt, blunt, I guess. So there's my... Okay, so yeah, the combos do matter. Okay. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for Sun and Valir for Moon. Sunball. Okay. Moonerang can bounce to multiple targets, crescent arc. Ooh. Ooh, and they have... Okay, so it's two effects. Blunt moon and moon poke poke or something? Moon multi-hit, I guess. Press to deflect. So I'm guessing they'll come back. Yes! Aww. That's right. I've played Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Fought Phantom Ganon. Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with the normal attack now. Alright then. It exist. So yeah, we get three per normal, it looks like. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points but perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. All right, dual attack. Each regenerate three MP. It, oh, okay, it only costs one of these things. Bonk. Okay, no, I didn't action command properly, or it doesn't work. Yep, yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out on your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Moraine will see you at the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. After we save and call it a day, dear viewer. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Sea of Stars. Ooh. And I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.